Hello, welcome to part two of slope intercept form, chapter five, section three. We left off at number eight here on this screen, and we're going to be starting on problem three, writing an equation from a graph. Okay, so uh, from the previous uh, video, we learned that the number in front of the x is the slope. We learned that the number added is the place where it crosses the y-axis, and we learned that y has to be isolated uh, by itself. So let's take a look at number 9 and this says what do you expect the slope of the line to be from looking at the graph? Well I a quick look at the graph we, you should be able to look at that and know that it's going to be a negative slope. That is something you, given a graph you, you should identify that quickly because it, it goes downhill. Alright so it's downhill left to right. So it's going to be a negative slope. Okay let's go on down the clues and see if we can go ahead and find the uh, uh, the slope here. So it says choose two points and find the slope of the line. Okay, well let's pick a point. Now normally I would prefer that the points are obvious and they're not super obvious in this particular question. So I'll go ahead and give you, we've got these two points right here. Okay, so I since I have a graph and I know those two points, I can just go down one. Okay, so that's minus one and I can turn right and I can go plus one that way. All right, so the rise is negative 1 over the run, which is positive 1. So my slope of this particular line is negative 1. So m, remember that means slope, m is negative 1 in that particular graph. Okay, so over here 11 would say the same thing. The slope is negative 1. So it says use the graph to find the y-intercept. Well, in this particular graph, it's obvious for us, right there is the y-intercept. That's the point where it crosses the y-axis. That is the ordered pair 0, 2. Right? Here's the origin and it's 1, 2. So that's the point 0, 2. So the y-intercept is positive 2. Okay, so given that information, I have found the slope and I found a point, which is the y-intercept, from what I learned in the first uh, first lesson. Now uh, let me add that this b is b. b is equal to 2. So slope intercept form, write this down again that this is what it's about. Oops, mx plus b. So I found that m is negative 1. So the answer to the question, the slope intercept form of this equation, the answer is y has to be isolated equals the slope of the line, which is negative 1, x plus the value of b, which is 2. Okay, the reasoning, it says, does the equation of the line depend on the po points you use to find the slope? Well, let's think about that question. Well, as I, as I think about what they're trying to tell you here, it sounds a little bit confusing at first, so let me, let me erase some of my stuff on my graph and, and show you what they're trying to say here the question gets a little confusing, is th they're saying is, does the equation depend on the points that you use? Okay, so we, we use these two points, and we got the slope as negative 1. So I think what they're saying is, well, what, what if I would have picked this point, and let's say this point here, and I go down 3 over 3, I would get the same answer. So the, the answer to this question is actually no. Okay, the slope is the same. same given any two points okay you just have to calculate it and figure it out so they're asking you would the slope change if you picked different points no the slope would not change it would be the same from any two points that you have uh, chosen to answer that question okay so real quick to the next page get a little more information then we'll stop this video here. It says uh, how about writing an equation given two points on a line. Alright, this says write what equation in slope intercept form, okay slope intercept form, remember that's y equals mx plus b, represents the line that passes through these two points right here. Now this gets a little bit trickier here, they're moving you really fast along. Well the first thing you have to do find is the slope to calculate what the slope is. So we're going to do that. That's what 15 does, is asking you to do. It says use these point 3 negative, three negative 2 and 1 
uh, negative 3 to find the slope. So the first thing you have to do is find the slope. If you don't know the slope, then you can't find the equation of the line. Use these, uh, these two points. So now they kind of filled it in here. So they have something minus negative 3. So that's, that's the y. So they're using this as y2. So it would be negative 2 minus negative 3. Okay, so you, you subtract the values of y. Negative 2 minus negative 3. And then underneath it, you subtract the values of x. 3 minus 1. So negative 2 minus negative 3 change that to addition, it's negative 2 plus uh, 3 is positive 1, and 3 minus 1 is 2. So the slope of this line is 1 over 2. Okay, from there you have to find the y-intercept. Now for the sake of time, I'm running out of time here, so I'm going to stop this video and then I will continue this question in the next one.